And now it's time for the award for the entertainer of the year, a popular star. Now, a popular star is somebody whose picture you will see in tea stalls, in rickshaws, in taxis, on the walls of people's houses all over the country. And I can tell you one thing, having traveled fairly extensively in the last three to four months, I have to say every place that I went, every tea store had one particular picture up. And that's the picture of our entertainer of the year, popular star. And I'm going to invite Prithira Chavan to come up on stage and give the award to Katrina Kaif. Katrina, um, becoming a popular star the way you have, you've you know, captured the imagination of, of the nation. And I, and I wasn't kidding when I said that I see your picture everywhere. Whenever you travel in the country, you're seeing your picture up. It's particularly difficult in, in the Mumbai film industry, which is sometimes being called a, a clothes shop, an insular industry, where it's tough for outsiders and people who are not star kids to really come in. You not only broke, you're, and you're, you're, you're actually grew up outside the country. So you had those questions asked as well when you were starting off. Well, um, obviously, I think as many people know, my father's Indian, my mother's British. And growing up, I think I was also in a slight dilemma as you know, to where did I belong? And uh, when I made the decision to come to India, I was in my, what you could call the crucial teenage years, and um, finding myself, what I was going to do with my life, who I was supposed to be. And when I came to India, I think the love, the support, the acknowledgement um, that I received and that I saw here was just so phenomenal. I mean, it's beyond um, my wildest dreams. And I think um, what this country and the people of this country has given to me um, is beyond the, I, anything I could have ever asked for in my life. And I'm just so grateful for what I've been given here. But did you have to work extra hard on that, uh, you know, like, for example, working on your Hindi, you know, trying to, or was it, did it somehow come fairly smoothly, fairly easily for you? No, it was a hard journey. It was one with a lot of work, but I think my, um, what I've uh, been given has been so much, so much and far greater than the work that I've put into it. Um, there are so many people who come to this industry who struggle, who dream of seeing even 1% or 5% of what I have seen. Um, I think I only have God to thank. It's my destiny. Um, hard work you can put in, but beyond that, is, as Sir said, that you know it's also luck. And um, you know, just to be standing on the stage here with our Chief Minister and to be receiving this award from him today is um, something I never dreamed of. Right now, this year, this year was a year where you tried to reinvent yourself with Rajneeti, a de-glamorized role. But by the end of the year, what people would probably remember you for was Sheila Ki Jawani, right? So sort of coming back full circle? <laughs> well, I think that's the beauty of being an actor, as, um, as Vidya also said, that it gives you a chance to live and to enact um, different parts of your personality. For me, what I, um, what I tried to do and what I got the opportunity to do in Rajneeti was one side of me that um, was very fulfilled, and I loved that journey. And doing Sheila Ki Jawani for me, even though it's entertainment and it, um, it looks fun, and it is fun, it's still serious hard work, and it's something I love dancing. Dancing is a huge part of my life. And it's something which is also hard work. All right. So, John, do you have a question for her? Well, uh, I've heard that you did a fabulous job in Rajneeti. I haven't seen the film. But my daughter told me that you're wonderful. Would you like to transition to actual politics later when you hang up your boots? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the only politician who I've actually ever really spent a lot of time with is uh, his sir, <laughs> as he said. <laughs> And, um, well, you know, maybe I can campaign from Bihar if he allows me. <laughs> well, I'm, sure, I'm sure he's going to take you up on that, unless you want to quickly try and persuade her that <laughs> you could spend I, some time with her as well. She's right there in Mumbai, maybe you could camp, she could campaign for you as well. Well, I'd like her to be brand ambassador for some of our serious problems, so malnutrition or our uh, dharavi and others. Anytime, sir. I'd be greatly honored. And if I can just say one thing to... Um, Farooq Saab, that as he was mentioning to Trisha earlier, that we you know we should go to Hollywood. I think uh, our Hindi film industry is growing and is only growing strength by strength, and God willing, it will grow so big that we won't need to go to Hollywood. Hollywood will come looking for us here. <laughs> well said, Katrina. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.